God, I'm surprised you can even see me on this chair wearing this hoodie. It's like <laughs> blending in. Do I, do I match? Oh, hi there. It's Falcor here and welcome back to my channel. In case you haven't gathered by the title of this video, I'm going to do a little review of the movie Love, Simon. Yes, I know I'm late to the party. I know it came out ages ago, but something about it made me not really that thrilled to go and see it. So I didn't bother, but finally have done. And before I go any further, let me just kind of preface this review by letting you know what kind of review this is going to be in that I did not love Love, Simon. You see what I did there? It's hilarious. I realize that many people are gonna hate me for saying that, but it is what it is, and I like to be honest. Yes, it is a great thing that there is an LGBT character as a main character in a mainstream film. However, I do feel a little torn over quite a few things, including the fact that the actor playing him is not actually gay himself. I know acting is acting and that's that, but still, everyone talks about roles being there for people of that particular minority, whatever you want to call it. And just here again, it's happening here again. We've got a straight actor playing a gay character. Plus, in my opinion, he is a very particular type of gay person in that he is in sort of appearance in the way he acts, that sort of archetypal version of a, what you might call passing for straight, gay person. I.e. he isn't obviously gay because obviously <laughs> that's, that's not the type of gay person we want to portray in a mainstream character in a mainstream film as the most acceptable version of an LGBT person. And then just to add fuel to that fire, there is a character in the film who is already out in the school and he is an obviously gay character, i.e. he's a little bit camp, etc. And for being out and for being camp, he is already picked on, he is what is kind of portrayed as like extremely bullied by it all. However, when, and this is a spoiler, Simon is inevitably outed, he is subject to a little bit of ridicule, but then for the most part, we end in a sort of climactic round of applause. Yay you, congratulations, fall in love, you've come out, nobody minds, now let's go back and pick on the camp kid. The next thing that really stood out for me was the really strange sort of characterization of the teachers at the high school. So first of all, I think it's the vice principal is just plain weird, weird and inappropriate. And I know they were trying to be humorous, but for me, it just felt weird and inappropriate. And then the drama teacher, literally she'd get fired. She'd lose her job. There's one part of the film and I know she's kind of like defending the LGBT kids, but it was an opportunity to really like have this moment where a you know, educator steps in and expresses how wrong it is to be treating LGBT classmates in that way. But instead she does this weird thing where I'm pretty sure if I remember rightly that she calls them assholes and says that they're gonna grow into sad fat virgins. And like, first of all, a high school teacher would get fired for saying that, but also why? Why ruin that moment when she could have made a really like, you know, like, as an educated person, been the person to defend the LGBT kids in like that sort of like right way and like show like what you're doing is wrong because everything about them is normal, just as normal as anyone else, whatever normal may be, but instead they just ruined it with this weird, just weirdness. And she was weird. She was weird throughout the whole film. You have to see it to understand what I mean. If you haven't seen the film, watch it and you'll see what I mean. With all that said, I was also, to be honest, pretty let down by the reaction of his parents to his coming out. A stunned silence occurs and then flash forward, time moves on and it is after the Christmas break. So in the film, spoiler here again, he comes out on Christmas morning and then skip ahead He's already returned to school after the Christmas break and only then do his parents seem to address what was said. And yes, there is a really great conversation that he has between himself and his mum and she said great things. It was a very sort of like moving speech. However, I just feel like it just came too late. In the way he comes out and when it happens, I just, for me in a film, 
it wasn't a very mum thing to just ignore it for all that time and only then, too little too late, come out and say the great things that she does actually say. Also, as a side note, I just wanted her to give him the biggest hug ever, but instead she does this weird thing where she kind of walks by him, puts a hand on his shoulder and then just like leaves the room and I was a bit like, why aren't you hugging him? You just told him all the nice things. He feels accepted and loved and then she was like, okay, bye. I'm going to make a cup of tea now, cheers. Even though you could say his father also comes around to talking about the subject a little late, that somehow in the film the way it was portrayed is more believable, more kind of real to life, and actually what happens, the, the conversation between them is very touching, and it just, it just felt right. I liked it. So overall to summarise, for me, somehow the film just lacked heart, like I was expecting and I wanted to have my heartstrings pulled at and feel like I related, but to be honest, I didn't really relate to any of it at all. And obviously I am actually an LGBT person myself. I did have to come out to my parents. I did have to come out to my friends and I'm still coming out all the time because coming out is a lifelong ongoing thing to every new person that you meet. But <laughs> I just don't think the film addresses the realistic difficulties that coming out as a young person like really is. And I know things have moved on now and things have changed from even when I came out when I was 16, which was decades ago. But even so, it's still a difficult thing. And I feel like it really is just too much of a picture perfect situation. And while that's kind of nice, because that is the way of the teen movie, I just don't think it reflects the real experience of LGBT youth coming out at all. Should I just take it as a positive thing that we now have a mainstream teen movie that has LGBT characters and directly mirrors that of a heterosexual relationship teen movie? I really can't make up my mind. One thing that is certain, I just was decidedly underwhelmed. Now, shortly after seeing Love, Simon, I watched Alex Strangelove, a Netflix original LGBT movie, which stars like half the cast of 13 Reasons Why. <laughs> now, yes, while this film managed to confuse polyamory with pansexuality and also didn't address the issue of coming out to your parents, for me, it just, for some reason, was just so much more enjoyable than Love, Simon. And I kind of felt like it was a little bit more of a well-rounded expression of like LGBT youth about coming out to people. And it's also a really hilarious film. I found myself laughing lots and to be honest, humor immediately just gets me going so much more. So I can't really review Alex Strangelove in much more detail than that because I don't have time. I've already rambled on way more about Love, Simon. But just as I am certain that I did not love Love, Simon, I am in turn certain that I enjoyed Alex Strangelove a hell of a lot more. If you would like to hear a sort of full review from me of what I thought about Alex Strangelove, then please express your desire for that in the comments. Or don't, that's also fine if you do not care what I have to say. Either way, please leave your thoughts in the comments on how you feel about Love, Simon. Do you agree with anything I've said? Do you disagree with what I've said? I'm open to hearing it all and I want to chat with you about it. So that is where I'm going to leave it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, I love you and goodbye. Wow.